Hello everyone, Pete here and Claire Obscure Expedition 33 has just dropped on Game Pass 2 rave reviews. And here's how to go from an almost unplayable default settings of around 25 FPS to get around 40 FPS and above, including the use of a performance mod and also a fix for a global illumination issue found in the game. So four quick things as we start here. I've installed this game from Game Pass and it's only 40 gigabytes, which is very reasonable for a brand new release. The second is I'm plugged in and on 30 watts turbo mode with it being a graphically intense game. The third is heading into Armory Crate settings, then performance, then GPU settings. I'm on eight gigabytes of RAM, but let us know in the comments if you find a different amount works better. And all AMD settings are currently off. And fourth is that I assume that your ally is already optimized. So let's load the game up from Army Crate. We get a lovely opening cutscene. And as we start right away, we can see very clearly that while these default settings graphically do look really nice, this isn't a very smooth experience at all, with us coming in at around 25 FPS. So let's head into the graphics section of the game settings. The preset is medium. We can set to low for more FPS, but I'm gonna leave at medium because it's such a gorgeous looking game. TSR is the default scaling type. XESS is the only other type that we can choose from, which is Intel's proprietary scaling type. And it doesn't have FSR, which is AMD's scale type, unfortunately, which we choose if we could, so we are limited here. And I'll explain why it doesn't have FSR in a moment. So let's set it to the XESS option and leave scaling mode to balanced, so everything is sharp. Moving down, and if you do want more FPS, then we can lower this to 900 or even 720p if we want to. But for me, I really do want those crisp visuals, so I'm gonna leave at 1080p. Scrolling down further, and let's set anti-aliasing from medium to low. Set the shadows to low, and set the foliage to high, as this will make a massive difference when we get into the gorgeous sections of the game later. Let's press A to apply changes. And now we can see that with these tweaks that already we've gained around 10 FPS. And even though some parts will still dip into the low 30s, we are still above that 30 FPS mark. As mentioned, if you do want more FPS, then you can try setting more graphics options from medium to low or dropping from 1080p to 900 or 720. But for me, I do want to prioritize graphical fidelity as this game is beautiful to look at. Now we can squeeze more FPS out of the game and I'll show you how. So let's quit the game. On our desktop, let's open up our favorite web browser, which in my case is Brave. In Google, let's search Claire Nexus Mods. Let's select the second link that comes up. Go back one by clicking here. Click on this first optimized tweaks option and it should be called this reduced stutter improved performance heading. And I'll leave a direct link to this below in the description. So let's scroll down a little to the main file section. Click on the orange manual download button. We do need to log in to download this, but it is completely free. I'd recommend registering if you haven't already. And when we do register, it looks like that we have to pay, which we can do if you want to support these awesome developers. For now though, I'm just gonna scroll right to the bottom and hit no thanks, then hit home. Head into the game section, then recently added. Find the game which is currently first then head into it, scroll down to the main files and click the orange download button. Click download and I'm gonna save this into the downloads folder. Let's open up our downloads folder, click the file, then extract it, which I'm going to do back to downloads. Go into this newly created folder, select this file and copy it. Now open a new tab, click where the game is saved, which for me is the C drive. Mine's off Game Pass, so it's in Xbox Games. Click the Game folder, then Content, then the Sand Fill folder, then the Content folder, then the Packs folder. Then click New, then Folder. Name this folder Mods, and paste our Nexus mod into here. And now when we load the game, our new mod has given us a few extra FPS to be closer to 40 FPS. And yes, it definitely does feel smoother and this is now an awesome way to play this game. One final thing I recommend us doing, which is to fix a global illumination lighting bug that occurs with Unreal Engine 5 games like this. So let's quit the game. On our desktop, open up our web browser and head to this address. I'll leave a direct link to this below in the comments. Let's download this for me into my downloads folder. 
then click on the file and extract it, which I'll do back into the downloads folder. Then open up this new folder that starts with D3D. Select both files, then press copy. Now open a new tab. Go to where we saved the game, which for me is the C drive. I've got the Game Pass game, so head into the Xbox games folder, then the Claire Obscure folder, into content, then the Sandfall folder, then the binaries folder, then the only win GDK folder, and paste both of these files right into here. As we close the folder and launch into the game, this is now the fully optimized version of Claire Obscure Expedition 33. And if this guide helped you, then like, and also get subscribed to the channel to be among the first to watch these tutorials just like this. Huge thanks to our great viewer, A. Jackson, for his best settings tips, the amazing RG Ally Life website, and do check them out at the link below. And also to you awesome viewers who voted on yesterday's community poll, where a whopping 79% of you wanted this. Definitely check this game out as it is incredible. Even if you're not super into turn-based games like I am, but to say this game was made with only 30 developers, which I believe were ex-Ubisoft employees is insane. And this explains why it doesn't have FSR support due to the lower development resources, perhaps. Let us know what you think of the game so far and also any optimizations that you found enhance the game below in the comments. And as a thank you for watching this far, I'd love to share this awesome quote. My goal is not to be better than anyone else, but to be better than I used to be. Yes, it's so easy to fall into the trap of comparing ourselves to others. But instead, let's focus on improving ourselves so we're better than we were yesterday, a week, month and year ago by continually moving forward and making progress. So stay encouraged today, guys. And as an extra bonus treat for staying right to the end, here's our gorgeous rescue cat and her name is Pancake. If you enjoyed today's video, then check out my best settings guide for another huge game in Oblivion Remastered to learn how to get over 70 FPS in the open world area. I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.